first time I've had to, to speak to you since your announcement. Is it going to be a, an emotional day for you on Saturday, do you think? No, not really. It's just part of the job, isn't it? You know, coaches come and go. That's the reality of it. And you know, Great clubs are great clubs, aren't they? Wigan's been a great club for a long time. And, you know... One person comes, another one goes with his coach or players, and St. Ellen's is a great club. It's been a great club for a long time, so I'll be uh, sad to be leaving England because I've got a lot of good friends and a lot of great memories from over here. But from the game point of view, it's just, you know, it's a, it's a great thing to be involved in, yeah. And being against Wigan, I think, you know, when you, when you come to St. Ellen's, you sort of, you learn to get that hatred or respect, dislike, however you like to call it. You know, both clubs... I think respect each other a lot, but there's that real something different about it, isn't there? And it's, uh, it's a great occasion. Where does this game rank in your career, coaching career? Um, I don't really like that you're talking and asking me questions about myself. I'd rather talk about well on lockers and the players, you know, because that's what it's about at the end of the day. You know, you've got two clubs, two great clubs who survive a lot off local juniors, and I think that's the the great the great thing about it, the great irony about it. Wayne is a coach who likes to stick with his own Wigan boys, you know. He, He'd go a Wigan or over an Aussie any day, and you know, I'm a coach that's been over that I'd go for a St. Ellen's boy over over an Aussie any day myself, you know, because they love their clubs and they respect their clubs, they respect the towns, you know. I think rather than talk about me or what I might be doing, you're best off talking about all the great players that are playing for both the clubs, and especially the <coughs> especially the ones that have come through the junior systems and you know have got that winning winning culture in them. I'm using two words, Sean and Nathan so. Yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm very proud of what we do and, and I mean, I, I do respect what St. Helens do because they have a similar ethos to us with all the young, young players coming through and, you know, Mike Rush and Derek Train and people like that um, and have, uh, have all pushed that. So I think the two clubs that really push having local youngsters in and that's what makes this game a bit more exciting. Sean, for you, any progress you ready for this game against? I mean, you love these matches, don't you? Oh yeah, we're ready for it. Yeah, it's it's going to be a, a full-on, uh, rough and tough contest. There's no doubt about that. Two two really really good teams, and you know, St. Helens have bit some real real good form. You know, they know how to win games, and and it'll mean as much to them as it means to us. And I think it's going to be a fantastic grand final. I'm really really looking forward to it. How's Michael McLaurin? Yeah, we're having a look at him this afternoon. He's going for a for a scan today, but um, he he just phoned me this morning saying no matter what, I'll be playing on Saturday. So. That's that's Mickey's attitude and it's my attitude. Nathan, what's James Roby's situation injury wise? Um, nothing that I'm aware of unless you've got some different information. He's not been on the England tour, is it? He? Oh he's just gotta have a tidy up when he's finished, that's all. It's not a it's not one of those it's more a longevity type of thing, you know, it's more for Robes' long term benefit. He's been playing he's been playing for England now for roughly ten years straight and he just needs a tidy up. It's not anything that's uh, causing him any inconvenience. But in the, for his long term, he's just signed a five year, five year contract for the, for the club, and uh, he's obviously a well paid player. And he's a St Helens boy, and he wants to do what's best for St Helens because you know he'd still dearly love to play for England, I think. But it's just one of those ones where he, he needs that time out to, to get his body in the right, right shape for for next year's competition. Well, you three now. Uh, I mean, not for me personally. Uh, yeah, obviously, I'm aware of the, the record that we've had in recent grand finals, but uh, in terms of, uh, you know, I think our, our team, our group, there's, there's not many of us left who are actually part of that. I think it's me and me and Robes who are part of the, part of those teams. So, you know, this is a very much a new group and a new team which has been built over the last few years with Brownie and. Uh, and as our chairman said last week, uh, we're very much a club looking forward, not back. So we just focus all our energy on, on performing well on, on Saturday evening.